Bluetooth has gotten really good over the years, but will it ever be hi-fi? By the way, before we get too deep into this video, now we have a community Discord. So if you want to get active in the community, you can check that out at the link in the video description. All right, let's get into it. Now, I know that's a hard one to talk about. Audiophiles tend to not really like talking about Bluetooth unless it's in a derogatory fashion. We like our wires, things that plug straight in an uninterrupted analog signal. But the truth is Bluetooth is hi-fi right now. As interesting as it is to say, there's actually Bluetooth things now that are more high fidelity than non-Bluetooth devices. Well, at least some of them. For the sake of this example, I want to compare things like the new Focal Batisse, or the rather inexpensive JBL Tune 710BT, or even the AKG N700NC. They're very well tuned, they're balanced in sound, they are more accurate than things you could buy that were wired 20 years ago. More accurate than a lot of things you can buy that are wired now. If you're looking at it purely objectively, a JBL Tune 710 BT is more high fidelity than a Meze Empyrean. Does that mean that the JBL sounds better? No. But it depends on what you're looking at as high fidelity. If you're talking about the massive amounts of detail you can get from a wired planar on a big amp stack, well, that's different from what you're looking at with a Bluetooth device. But it doesn't have to be. See, the big holdback on a lot of Bluetooth devices is they're very efficient DACs and amps, low power systems designed to get as much battery life as possible while delivering acceptable sound quality. Things are starting to step outside of that. They can have good battery life but still deliver good sound quality. The Batiste is probably the best example of that. It's a Bluetooth headphone that, well, replaced my Radiance wired clothes back made by the same manufacturer. And sure, if I plug the headphone straight into the computer via USB-C and then have a direct connection to its internal DAC, I do feel like I'm getting a more detailed experience. But on Bluetooth, I really feel like I'm not missing out. Another comparison would be things like the AirPods Pro, the new second generation ones. Well, they're so good they encroach upon the territory of wired IEMs in many cases especially as far as tuning is concerned. Bluetooth bit rates are starting to get pretty high, but even then it seems a lot of people can't tell the difference between Bluetooth codecs. Some people will say that they can only use something with Aptex or LDAC, but I would rather have something with a good overall sound without Aptex or LDAC than something that's very lackluster that has Aptex or LDAC. Like for example, you don't need 24-bit audio on your Galaxy Buds when on wired headphones you'd be listening to a 16-bit track. Especially considering a lot of the people I've seen complain about that are people listening to Spotify. Now, I know this sounds a bit preachy and a bit rambly, but I just want to express that as audiophiles, I think it's actually time we start accepting wireless can be good. When you look at a computer system, a desktop setup, where you are sending a digital signal over a cable to be decoded by a DAC. You're essentially doing the same thing with a Bluetooth device. It's just instead of the cable sending the digital signal, your ones and zeros, well, it's wirelessly sending the ones and zeros. There's still a DAC in the headphone decoding all that information. There's still an amp in the headphone to power the driver. It's just a smaller version of what's happening on your desk. And I think it's only a matter of time before those things become indistinguishable. But as it is now, Bluetooth headphones these days, at least good Bluetooth headphones, are definitely better than wired headphones used to be. And that's not something you could have said a few years ago. I mean, Bluetooth used to suck, but we're past revision five of Bluetooth now and things are getting pretty great. Now that high-end audio companies are starting to enter the Bluetooth space, I think it's likely to only accelerate more and more into the realm of quality and distinguishable from a wired connection. So what's the point of this video? Should you go and throw away all your wired headphones and only use Bluetooth from now on? Well, no, of course not. What are you talking about? I still use a wired setup at my desk. I use wired setup all the time. But I find myself using Bluetooth more and more because, well, it's good now. There was a time where if you said anything was Bluetooth related, I would immediately dismiss it. No, that's not hi-fi. That's not an audiophile product. You shouldn't be listening to that. Just plug into the headphone jack. Then we got the catalyst where iPhones and other phones started removing their headphone jacks and the race for better Bluetooth began, landing us where we're at today. Audiophiles, it's time to start accepting that Bluetooth is getting good. And I think there's absolutely no shame in having something wireless 
in your high-end collection. Just a short little ramble. I will be doing a full review of the Batiste at some point in the near future. Make sure you stick around, subscribe. You don't want to miss that. But that's going to wrap this one up, guys. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. Comment letting me know what you want to see in the future. If you want to get active in the community, you can at the forums or the Discord, both linked in the video description. As always, don't forget to stick around, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Until the next one, guys. Peace.